Girl won't stop running away until officer notices specific smell in her room. Officer Feliciano Serra sighed as he received another call about Vanessa Walker, a troubled 13-year-old who threatened to run away from home. Concerned for Vanessa's safety, Officer Serra quickly arrived at the Walker residence to assess the situation. He had no idea what he would uncover. His day was about to get very dark. Vanessa, with a defiant look on her face, met Officer Serra at the door. What was it this time? Officer Serra thought to himself. Vanessa insisted he check her room. Intrigued and puzzled, Officer Sarah followed Vanessa to her room, wondering what he would find there that would be the source of her distress. The room was bolted up. Officer Sarah hadn't seen anything like this before, but then again this was clearly a dysfunctional household. He made his way to his patrol car to get bolt cutters from his trunk. At this point, he was just as intrigued as Vanessa was. What was going on in her room? Officer Sarah quickly cut the padlocks on the door. There were three in total. As the door swung open, Officer Sarah noticed a peculiar smell lingering in the air, a scent that was both unusual and concerning. Vanessa's room was scattered with posters, clothes, and belongings, but the officer's attention was drawn to a small and conspicuous corner. Officer Feliciano Sarah had been a policeman for over 20 years, and he'd seen just about everything in his career in the force. He tried his best to keep his community as safe as possible, but there were always the bad apples. He had witnessed his fair share of heartbreak and sadness in the community. One such case was the Walker family. Carmen and her daughter Vanessa were always in trouble. He could hardly count the number of times that Carmen had called him to report that Vanessa had once again run away from home. He felt sorry for Carmen having to deal with a troubled teenager. However, over time, he learned that Carmen wasn't as innocent as she had claimed to be. He had come to realize that there was a reason for Vanessa constantly wanting to flee from her house, and it all stemmed from Carmen's reckless behavior. Every weekend, she invited all kinds of strange people into their house. Being only 13 years old, Vanessa felt very uncomfortable and uneasy with the weird people there. That was when she thought it was best to leave the house. Her mother wouldn't even notice that she was gone until after she recovered from her massive hangover. Vanessa wasn't one to roam the streets and would usually end up staying with a close friend of hers. Her friend's parents understood that Vanessa was better off staying with them. That was until Carmen would call the police and kick up a fuss. She reported Vanessa missing several times although she knew where she was. It was like she was doing it out of spite and jealousy because Vanessa chose another family over her. This is the last time that you ever leave this house, young lady, and if I ever catch you at the Miller's house again, there's gonna be hell to pay. So Vanessa was banned from going to her friend's house ever again. She only ever saw her at school. She felt really bad because she liked them a lot and wanted to show her gratitude to them for always taking her in. However, she was very afraid of her mother and what she might do if she found out she went over to their house. So she ended up staying at home, but there was one big change, she wasn't allowed to go into her bedroom anymore. In fact, the last time she had run away from home and came back, she found that the room was bolted shut. She was confused until her mother informed her this was punishment for her running away so many times. She was now subjected to sleeping on the couch in the living room. However, over the next few weeks, Vanessa would notice a strange odor emitting from her bedroom. She had tried and failed so many times to get inside. She wanted to get one of her favorite books that would always make her feel better when she was feeling down. She sniffed at the door. Something was wrong inside. Over time, the smell would just get worse and worse. She tried to persuade her mother to open it so that she could clean her room, but she wasn't convinced Vanessa had learned her lesson. You didn't want to be here in the first place. That's why you ran away. So why should I give you a bedroom that you didn't want? Weeks passed and Vanessa could swear that something was decomposing in her room. She decided to do something drastic. It was the only way to find out what was going on in her bedroom. What if her mother was hiding something in there? Why on earth would she bolt up the room like that? Vanessa needed answers and she knew just how to get them. She dialed the number she had on her phone. It was from the time Officer Sarah told her to call him anytime she needed anything. She was almost certain he'd be able to help her. Now would be the best time because her mother was still at work. She spoke to him and explained the situation. He was on her doorstep in less than 10 minutes since he was patrolling the area. She liked him and was grateful that he could come and help her with the situation. You see, officer, my mom bolted my bedroom shut and there's a smell coming from it. I need to know where it's coming from. She's still punishing me for running away, so now I have to sleep on the couch. After cutting all three locks with a bolt cutter he'd retrieved from his patrol car, it was time to see what was going on in the bedroom. Vanessa braced herself for what was about to happen. She had no idea what they were about to uncover there. It had been months since she had been in her own space and she missed her bedroom. However, what exactly was behind that door? As Officer Sarah's eyes scanned the room, he couldn't help but shield his nose with his arm. The smell was so pungent that he was worried there might have been a dead animal in there. They tried to switch on the light, but there was no light fixture. It was dark, the curtains were drawn, and the windows had been covered up with newspapers. Officer Sarah was forced to use his flashlight because it was almost impossible to see anything but the outline of Vanessa's bed in a large bookcase. What can it be that's making it smell so awful in here, officer? I just want my room back. 
Vanessa said as she tried to make sense of what was going on in her bedroom. The room was a complete mess from what they could see. What's going on here? I didn't leave my room in this state. What has my mom done to the room? Vanessa wondered. From books to clothes, everything was strewn on the ground. It was like a tornado had hit the room and left only destruction in its wake. The dim light from Officer Sarah's flashlight flickered across the room, revealing a scene that sent shivers down Vanessa's spine. The source of the foul smell became apparent as the beam landed on a corner of the room. There, tucked away in the shadows, was a pile of decaying trash bags. The stench was overpowering and Vanessa's eyes widened in horror. Officer Sarah, his face contorted in disgust, took a step back. As they approached the mound of refuse, Officer Sarah cautiously peeled back one of the bags. The contents were chilling. Rotting food, soiled clothes, and an assortment of discarded items. The room seemed like a breeding ground for neglect, and Vanessa couldn't comprehend how her own space had become such a sinister secret. The officer's mind raced as he processed the severity of the situation. This wasn't just about a messy room, it was a grotesque display of neglect and psychological torment. Vanessa's eyes welled up with tears as she realized the extent of her mother's cruelty. The room wasn't bolted shut because she'd run away, it was a way for Carmen to hide the evidence of her own neglect. Officer Sarah, now determined to unveil the truth, decided to document the scene. He snapped pictures of the squalor within Vanessa's room, capturing the darkness that had been concealed behind that locked door. The revelation left Vanessa torn between anger and sadness. How could her own mother betray her like this? The room she had once called her sanctuary had transformed into a chamber of horrors. The emotional toll of being isolated on the couch paled in comparison to the betrayal she felt. Officer Sarah, a mix of empathy and frustration in his eyes, reassured Vanessa that they would address the situation appropriately. The authorities would need to get involved and Carmen Walker would have to answer for her actions. As they exited the room, Officer Sarah could sense the urgency to act swiftly. The evidence they had uncovered demanded immediate attention. Vanessa, now standing in the hallway, trembled with a mixture of fear and determination. The once silent household now echoed with the gravity of the situation. Officer Sarah radioed for backup, realizing that they were racing against time to bring justice to Vanessa and shine a light on the shadows that lurked within the Walker residence. Within minutes, the tranquil suburban street was disrupted by the arrival of additional police units. Officer Sarah briefed his colleagues on the disturbing findings in Vanessa's room, emphasizing the urgency of the situation. As the officers prepared to confront Carmen Walker, Vanessa clung to a sliver of hope that justice would prevail. The tension in the air was palpable, and the neighborhood seemed to hold its breath, unaware of the darkness hidden beneath the facade of the Walker household. Officer Sarah, accompanied by his colleagues, approached Carmen's workplace. The confrontation was inevitable, and Vanessa stood at a distance, watching as the truth unfurled before her. Carmen, initially defensive, couldn't escape the damning evidence presented by the photographs. As the officers questioned her, her facade of innocence crumbled, revealing a woman who had allowed her own child to suffer in squalor. The situation escalated as Carmen, cornered and desperate, attempted to deflect blame onto Vanessa. The officers, however, were resolute in their pursuit of justice. Vanessa, now fully aware of her mother's manipulations, felt a mix of vindication and sorrow. The tension in the air escalated, mirroring the storm that had been brewing within the Walker household for far too long. In a swift and decisive move, Officer Sarah called Child Protective Services to intervene. Vanessa, finally free from the shackles of her mother's cruelty, became the focal point of a process that would determine her future. As the CPS workers arrived, they assessed the living conditions and listened to Vanessa's harrowing account. The weight of the revelation hung heavily in the room, and Vanessa, though frightened of what lay ahead, felt a glimmer of optimism for the first time in months. The legal proceedings that followed were arduous, but they marked the beginning of a new chapter for Vanessa. Placed in the care of the Millers, she began to rebuild her life, far away from the shadows of her mother's mistreatment. Officer Sarah, haunted by the darkness he had uncovered, remained vigilant in his commitment to protect the community. The story of Vanessa Walker served as a stark reminder of the hidden struggles that could fester behind closed doors and the importance of those willing to bring them to light.